stationary partner passing drills where two players face each other and pass the basketball are okay in order to work on basic technical skills. But thousands of chess pass repetitions won't get your players anywhere on the long run. In this video, I'll show you 5 game like passing drills to take your players to the next level, score more points and win more games. Let's get into it. The first drill is a great warm up drill and teaches communication and developing a strategy. We have two players on offense with one ball. All other players are defenders. Offense is not allowed to dribble or move with the ball. All other players can move anywhere on the court. The goal for the offense is to tag a defensive player. An offensive player is only allowed to tag when he or she has possession of the ball. Once a defensive player is tagged, he or she switches the color of the jersey and joins offense. You can add a second ball to make it easier for the offense. The game ends when every defensive player has been tagged. By giving all defensive players a ball and allow them to dribble, you also teach dribbling at the same time. A tag player must put his ball out and converts to offense. The same applies if a player loses the ball or runs out of bounds. Depending on the number of players, you can reduce the area in which players are allowed to move. Communication is the key to this drill. Only when players work together as a team, they are able to develop a strategy and be successful. The second drill requires great timing and accuracy and teaches perfectly a pass off the dribble. Three players are lined up at midcourt. The first player has a ball. The first two players are on offense. The third is on defense. The first player can choose to go left or right and starts the drill. The second player then runs to the opposite side around the cone and receives a pass from player number one for a layup. The third player chases player number two and tries to defend. The ball handler needs to keep his eyes up so that he can see his teammate early on and time the pass perfectly. A pass with one hand off of the dribble can be a good choice. The next drill includes different types of passes. We have a give and go, we have a kick out, we have a swing pass and we have a drive to the basket and a finish. One player stands in each corner and one player is at the left wing. All other players line up with one ball on the right side behind the midline. The drill starts with a give and go from the ball handler with the player in the right corner. As soon as player number one gets the ball back, he continues to drive to the basket and kicks out to the opposite corner. Now we have a swing pass to the player at the wing position and a drive to the hoop or a mid-range shot. The post drill rotation is as follows. Player 1 and player 2 each take the spot to which they passed. The shooter moves out to the corner and player number 4 grabs the rebound and lines up at the midline. The next round can begin as soon as the original shooter gets into the corner and is ready to receive a pass. This is where things get interesting. We can add a defensive player guarding the ball handler and make the drill even more game-like. After the kickout pass, we want the defender to guard the driving player number 3 for a one-on-one -on -one situation. Again, the shooter moves out to the corner, the defender grabs the rebound and player number 4 becomes the new defender. Adding a defender to the drill requires players to pass under pressure, create angles, use fakes and put it all together. Every player in every position has to be ready. Encourage your players to make quick decisions and to use different types of passes. Drill number 4 is the ultimate give and go drill. On each side we have three players equally spaced off court. 
One offensive player with a basketball stands under the basket. All other players line up behind the first spot at the sideline. The ball handler runs down the floor without dribbling, only by making give and go passes with the players at the sideline and finishes with a layup. The passers move to the next spot after their pass. The last passer grabs the rebound and repeats the drill on the other side of the court. The shooter lines up at the first spot at the sideline. To speed up the drill, the next player can start when the player in front crosses the midline. This requires every player to move quickly to the next spot. To add more randomness to the drill, we can also add a defender. This leads to a one-on-one -on -one situation at the end of the court where we now allow dribbling. The offensive player converts to defense and it goes back on the other side. Players must move without the ball to get open. They must change speeds and directions. The players will learn how to pass through open windows by using ball fakes and by choosing the right type of pass. Drill number 5 is a regular half court or full court game without dribbling. We have all players divided in two teams. Every pass is worth one point. Teams can only keep their score if they make the basket, otherwise they lose their points and revert to their last score. Let's say a team makes 9 passes and then hits a shot. Then the team gets 9 points. When a team has completed 21 passes, we allow dribbling for this attack. A hit would make 21 points for the team. Dribbling can be allowed from the beginning. The scoring system may be motivation enough to play as many passes as possible. I suggest rewarding each successful fast break with 21 points. Fast breaks are the most motivating and entertaining part of basketball and are so important to the game. Another great side effect of this drill, the players will start a full court defense because otherwise the offensive players will already complete their 21 passes in their backcourt. Keep good spacing, move without the ball and make good cuts in order to receive the basketball. Once players are proficient at passing, they can move away from traditional block style passing drills and into more random and game like drills in order to work on multiple skills. Decide if you want to add a defender to the drill to make it even more competitive. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and check out my other videos with a lot more drills. See you next time.